OK, the Arizona Coyotes will be playing in the Central Division from the 2021 season. Uh, this is going to increase travel time for them and make travel a pain in the arse. We saw Detroit and Columbus demand to move to the Eastern Conference because of travel distances. The reason why this has happened is because Seattle is joining, is joining the league that season. And that means there's going to be an imbalance with nine teams in the Pacific and seven teams in the Central. The Central Division is the toughest division in hockey, so it's not going to be easy for Arizona. However, this season they are playing rather well and attendances are up. But with them being moved to the Central Division in three years' times, there are calls for Houston to, you know, get the team and they need to be relocated. That would be a very dangerous move. The fans are buying back in in Arizona. Um, they have got a winning record. There's a chance they can make the playoffs and that could completely change the outlook on things. Because of their lack of playoff success since 2012 and they haven't been in the playoffs for six years, crowds have dropped. This season there's renewed optimism. Uh, the team are playing well. They've got some good trades in. They're building a good team there. And the team is doing well. So for those calls to move Arizona to Houston, I will say this. If it wasn't for the Arizona Coyotes or the Phoenix Coyotes, as they used to be from Winnipeg when they moved, we wouldn't have Austin Matthews playing ice hockey. He would have gone into baseball or American football and gone down a different career path. The Toronto Maple Leafs wouldn't have that one of the best players in the league in Austin Matthews. And other players wouldn't wouldn't have decided to play as well. Uh, the Tucson Roadrunners are doing very well in the AHL. So... Arizona as a state of hockey is improving. The NHL has been very, very keen to keep the team in Arizona. The issue is they need to find an arena. The Gila River, Gila River Arena um, is a yearly rotating basis. Uh, and yes, that is costing them more money than if they had a permanent home, which they owned, or a better deal with an arena provider. Um, this rolling contract is actually costing them more money. Once that arena is, is dealt with, and, and the NHL are saying this team is not moving, uh, which angers the Canadian markets, but this team ain't moving. But the relocation will mean extra travel. But it also means they put, get to play an original six team in Chicago four times a season before playoffs, which actually will benefit the team. Um, playing against an original six franchise brings in brings in money. It does. Uh, and we don't know what's going to happen in three years' time. There's, there's, there's a high likelihood of a lockout. If a lockout is avoided, we don't know what's going to happen. They're, they're, you know, with The way Arizona finished the season last season, they were the eighth best team in the league for record post-January the 1st. Had they played like that all season, they would have been in the playoffs and would have had a decent run in the playoffs. Their lack of player success has had calls for, from fans to say, move the team. But we've heard this with Florida, Carolina, Buffalo. Um, there's a whole host of teams that they've said, we've got to move the team. The team doesn't draw. Lack of success will have something to do with that. They were calling for the Pittsburgh Penguins about 15 years ago to be moved. They've won three Stanley Cups. They're not moving now. It All it takes is that playoff success. And I think Arizona could make the playoffs this year in a weak Pacific division. And they could go on a, a run like they did at the end of last season and, and storm into the playoffs. Or they could be a wild card. The Pacific division is very weak. And when they move out of it, that actually weakens the Pacific division because Seattle will be an expansion side. And that means the Pacific will have two expansion teams in it with Vegas. So the Pacific is looking like going to be a weak division for quite some time to come. Um, I cannot see the NHL going back on the fact they've invested heavily in Arizona. They want the team to stay in the state. They need an arena that doesn't cost them as much. They need a permanent arena where there isn't this rolling contract. They need an arena. Um, that's what they need, and they need an owner to back them. Uh, but the NHL has been very keen for the team to stay in Phoenix or Arizona now as it is. They don't want to move the team. While fans may say about Houston are ready for a team, the NHL would rather they got expansion fees rather than relocation fees because expansion fees next time round could be near enough a billion dollars to join the league. If they've gone up from 500 to 650, it could be 750, 800 million dollars to join the league. Expansion fees are what the league wants, not relocation. There is a likelihood of a collective bargaining agreement not being reached, um, which could lead to a strike or a lockout. And the players obviously want a share of that expansion money. What the NHL are going to do is say, yeah, we'll give you a share of the money and then not expand anymore. Um, but expansion fees have pumped in over $1.3 billion into the league or something, or $1.1 billion into the league in, in a year or two. So the league has made a lot of money in a very short space of time. And the league has benefited as a result. And expansion has helped the league. Arizona goes to the Central. It is a tough division, but we don't know what's going to happen in three years' time. Looking how bad Chicago are right now and St. Louis, Chicago will not be the worst team in the Central Division if they were playing in the Central Division right now. Looking where they are, they are an outside bet for a playoff berth. They could go on a run. We don't know 
last year was so unpredictable with Vegas doing what they did. Anything could happen. The Pacific is the weakest division. It's probably better for Phoenix, or Arizona, keep calling the Phoenix, Arizona to go for the Central long term. Uh, Houston, they're probably more likely to give get an expansion team than a relocation. The NHL has avoided relocations for the better part, apart from Atlanta, for over a decade, decade and a half. They've avoided relocations since the mid-90s. They're very much against that. Instead of relocation, they've gone for expansion. They stopped it in 2000 with expansion. They brought it back with Vegas. Very successful. They decided to go with Seattle because the money is ready. But the key arena is the sticking point. Had they gone with Houston, the calls to relocate Arizona would have disappeared very quickly. Um, most of these calls are coming from Canada and the North American, uh, North US markets as well. But we've seen this with Pittsburgh, a Stanley Cup winning franchise, struggling 15 years ago. There are people saying they were even worth even less in real terms than Arizona are now. They were called to move that team. That team, now one of the best, strongest, most stable franchises in the league. Uh, so sometimes sticking it out when it does seem bleak pays off. And the fact that Carolina hasn't been moved, Florida hasn't been moved, Buffalo hasn't been moved, I don't think Arizona are moving. The NHL has been very keen to keep them in the, uh, where they are. Anyway, that's what is happening now. They're moving to the Central Division from 2021. Uh, so thank you very much. Uh, for watching, please like and subscribe, place your comments below, and I'll have some more videos for you soon.